as a result of an integrity commission investigation, the, the move to replace her with the wife of the prime minister, so that the head of parliament is now the spouse of the head of government, really does not sit well with the tradition that the speaker must act independently of the government of the day. The speaker, the speaker is intended to be independent and must act independently of the government today. That is the tradition. That is the, that is the tradition. The failure, the failure. and its large and rapidly expanding economies remains very modest. The top five economies in terms of growth are South Africa, Nigeria, Egypt, Algeria, and Ethiopia. And we have long historical connections with the fast growing economies of Ghana and Sierra Leone. There are therefore tremendous opportunities for us to build out new trade and investment linkages with Africa. Jamaica needs to stop dithering and ratify the historic 1.5 billion US dollar agreement between CARICOM and the African Exim Bank. And we are committed regionalists, so the dire situation in our close neighbor Haiti is of great concern to us. We commit ourselves fully to engagement in the regional efforts associated with that crisis and to reasserting Jamaica's constructive leadership role within CARICOM that has been allowed to atrophy over the past eight years. A progressive, principled foreign policy delivers real positive change for our people. The petro Caribe oil financing arrangement and the San Jose Accord, which financed Portmore, are striking examples of what a progressive, principled foreign policy has done for our people in the past under the People's National Party. And that is what we are committed to locally and globally. Mr. Speaker, change at the national level must focus on good governance. In this modern era of pervasive information sharing and communications, good governance is increasingly essential to maintain the people's trust and confidence in our democracy. Absolutely. Citizens are demanding that their leaders uphold the highest standards of accountability, transparency, and trustworthiness. All the measures that I have outlined for implementation will only be possible if we change the approach to governance that now exists. I right. will leave you with the ways, means, quality and spirit of the change in governance that we commit to. And good governance isn't just a set of ideals, it is the foundation upon which an equitable and just society can be built. Yes. The People's National Party has always been committed to fulfilling these ideals and we will translate these principles into tangible actions that uplift and empower every member of our society. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, we are in an increasingly low trust environment. Since the JLP government came to office in 2016, no less than eight ministers have been forced to resign or have been otherwise sanctioned for a range of serious breaches, and Jamaica continues to rank poorly on international corruption indices. The move in 2020 to take away the chairmanship of most parliamentary committees from the opposition has weakened that mechanism of holding government to account. The maneuvers to delay the tabling of reports from the Auditor General and the Integrity Commission remains a contentious matter, especially since the legal opinion on which this delay is purportedly based has been withheld from parliamentarians and the wider public. When the former speaker was forced to resign as, re as a result of an integrity commission investigation, the, the move to replace her with the wife of the prime minister, so that the head of parliament is now the spouse of the head of government, really does not sit well with the tradition that the speaker must act independently of the government of the day. The speaker, the speaker is intended to be independent and must act independently of the government today. That is the tradition. That is the, that is the tradition. The failure. The failure. The failure. 
Mr. Speaker. Members. 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 disclose the identity of the so-called illicit six MPs who are under investigation by the Integrity Ms. Commission for Ms. Illicit Member. Enrichment. Member. 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 At this time, there is by number. I will not continue in this. So I'm asking members to be quiet. Thank you. Section 7 of the Standing Orders of the House of Representatives of Jamaica says the quorum of a house and of a committee of the whole house shall consist of 16 members beside the person presiding. If at any time during a sitting of the House, any member that there is a committee of the whole House shall consist of 16 members beside the person presiding. If at any time during a sitting of the House, objection is validly taken by any member that there is not a quorum present the person presiding shall direct members to be summoned, and if at the end of five minutes a quorum be not present, he shall adjourn the house without question put. If at any time during a sitting of committee of the house and the house subject, and I read section two, subsection two of, of section seven, and as it stands, I am now summoning members to, to come on, on, on the inside of the chamber, and we will wait. We will wait for the five minutes. 